All right, Michael J. Back here, guys. Coming up today, we're going to talk about a few milestones Toronto's hitting and how this might affect, obviously, real estate as a whole. Coming up next, stay tuned. All right, guys, as I said, we're talking about a few milestones. So, uh, in terms of tourism, last year we hit a record. Um, our numbers came in at 43.7 million visitors. 15.5 million were actually overnight visitors. Now, this was a record, which is good. That means we're trending up. Now, out of that, this created $8.6 billion in revenue to the economy. So anyone who had businesses, whether it be shops, cabs, Ubers, you know, people came in, you benefited. Now, what does this do for real estate? Now, for one, is this is putting toronto on the global map for world-class cities which is a great thing because we all know the city's so great we have a lot of international exposure with toronto film festival a lot of movies being broken into with that festival um you got the fashion week you got a bunch of stuff you know gay pride parade you have all these things that brings a lot of people into the city now what happens here is for one, we're also trending on um, top ranked. We're actually ranked out of 293 cities. We're ranked 21st in the most unaffordable. And now, um, on when it comes down to cities over 5 million, we make the top five. Um, and who we're competing in there, Hong Kong, which takes the cake. You got Sydney, uh, Los Angeles, and London. Um, and then us. So what's happening is... It all comes back to supply and demand. Now, when we look at the supply right now and even what, it, what it's been due to many factors is low. It's very low. And the problem is when you have more visitors, you know, everyone knows it's a great, great city. And, you know, every week I'm out, I'm, I'm talking to a lot of people. I do run into a tremendous lot of, um, of, of different tourists, right? So um, what's happened, when I talk to them, I say, hey, you know, how's the city going? How do you like it? Um, and the feedback's phenomenal, right? Because we all know, like, this city is a great city. Um, if you're fortunate enough to grow up here, um, you're, you know, to me, it's, it's one of those things that unless you leave our city, you don't know how good the city is, right? We got all the major sports. We got all the, you know, in terms of um, entertainment, pretty much anyone who's in music and all that, they all at some point stop here. Um, you got artists like Drake coming out of this city, who puts so much um, acknowledgement on Toronto. And it's like, literally, there's so many people that when I talk to, especially when I'm out on the weekend in the entertainment district that, and if they're tourism, and I ask them, why should you come to Toronto? And so many times, it's funny because they do mention like, well, you know, Drake talks about a lot when we want to see what's up. So the influence of, of him, like people like him that, and they're not, you know, they're not losing momentum. They're gaining more, and it's driving even more tourism. And what's gonna happen? In, like, it's creating a demand because out of all those people coming here, you have 43 million people. Not everyone wants to move here, but you do have a percentage of people that say, you know what, this place is not that bad. We have very diverse of uh, of of different cultures that we embrace and we tell them to come so what happens is you get this narrative of you know there's a demand and with lack of supply and supply is not going to jump up anytime soon because like i said they can't build as fast and all that so what happens it increases the um prices go up because of it so at some point um the narrative here is you got to pick your battles, get into the market and benefit from it before it gets out of hand. Because at some point, as we turn into the world city, and like I said, there's so many things going on in this city. They're trying to bring um, Amazon here and Google's got their tech side that they want to you know, launch. And there's so many things that at some point are going to keep coming. And like I said, the same reason why you like the city, people that are coming into the city are falling in love with it. So um, it's one of those things that you definitely want to... Um, look at the real estate as at some point you cannot recreate it and make more land. So it's very important that you find your place in the market to benefit from it. Because at some point, 
it's going to keep getting more expensive. And then you'll notice with the condoms, it's going to get smaller and smaller and smaller because they're just too expensive. So um, just a little update, but congratulations on Toronto with the uh, hitting those record numbers. Like I said, $8.6 billion worth of revenue. That's $700 million more than the last year. And I don't see this slowing down at all. All right, guys. Michael Jacobs, like, comment, and let's talk about it. Catch you on the next one.